Oh, flag, 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 flag. Oh. oh, there's a fish on there for sure. Definitely fish on here. I think I just lost it. Nope, it's still there. Ooh, it's big. Oh, wow. Well, you are probably seeing this video next year because I do this thing where I take videos from like late March and because a lot of you guys watching are probably, you know, chomped at the bit for open water and you're kind of probably over ice fishing at this point. So this video you're seeing was filmed the winter below for, for any confusion there. But we are on Lake of the Woods. It is just a glorious, glorious day. It's above freezing or right at freezing. There's no wind. We got some friends coming to join us later, but we're doing a little one-two punch. Not the most common one-two punch. We're doing perch and lake trout today. I was talking to my buddy, Jaden from Northwest Outfitters. You've seen me do some videos with him. And he said, if you want to get on some action, I got just the spot for you. So anyways, we are fishing a flat for perch, deep mud flat. We're keeping, killing all the perch today. Um, to do a fish fry on the ice, but we are near some deeper water where we're gonna drop uh, a couple tip-ups for lake trout. That's kind of a secondary potential bonus. And um, we're just gonna have a good day on the ice. Maybe do a little uh, product development for catch and cook. But anyways, we've got Brandon behind the camera and we're gonna drill some holes and set some tip-ups first. My hair is getting long, eh? It is, yeah. Get that sick flow. Well, we're gonna have some tip-ups uh, that we're gonna set in like 60, 80 feet of water for some lake trout. I haven't done too much Lake of the Woods lake trout fishing. I got a little spoiled when I went up to Baker's this winter, but hey, there are lake trout in my backyard. It's actually, as I said earlier, sad how little I fish Lake of the Woods this year, but I was traveling. I'll be fishing Lake of the Woods a lot this summer. Yeah, these ice roads make it super accessible. This is great. Really great on the edge a bit. Doing a long 20 pound floral leader, and then I got bright, you know, this is fly line backing that I use. Are we gonna be able to see it from there? Maybe. There's a fish from an undress right now. Look at that. I don't know if it's a lake trout or something, but. Wow, fish instantly. Well, Brandon and I are out on Lake of the Woods and we, dude, it's loaded. There's two <laughs> fish that just came off the bottom. Oh, you're hooked up already. <laughs> oh man, there's more fish following this one up. We are gonna, oh my. We are gonna just put a beat down on the perch. There we go. We're perch fishing. It is March. This is just go time. Brandon, there's like eight fish waiting down there right now. Come look at this just lit up. Ridiculous. Oh, this is a big perch. This is a big perch, dude. <laughs> Baby. Lake of the Woods Jumbo is what we're doing today. We're gonna have a fry on the ice. We got a fun day planned. There's a perch coming up for your rattle bait. It's gonna eat it dead stick. I'm not even joking. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, there are so many fish down here, guys. Brandon is using the micro tantrum and he didn't even have to move it, and he caught a perch. Boom. I didn't have to do anything. Yeah, Brandon's off to a good start. Look at this fish streaking up. Those are perch. I wanna just kinda work on the aggressive ones that'll chase a little bit higher first. This one is small and just got off. Look at them, they're getting excited though and coming over. The old perch pod. <laughs> There's other perch following the one up. Perch following the perch. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. I couldn't see my bait. Big? Nice. Ooh, it's a nice one. I, I really think that the perch on the north end of the lake are, wow, Ooh. are kind of underrated. You got Mr. Chonky there? Got a good one. Oh, nice. People come for the walleye, they come for the lake trout. Not too many people come for the perch. And that is what we're cooking up today. I think the limit's 25 on a full license. Oh yeah, you must have one, no Brandon? Wow. Doubled up. The old perch pile. Well, we were waiting for our friends to show up. Josh and Sarah and Prairie and Quinn and Nora. A lot of girls. Your bait takes more time just falling than it actually yeah. is down there. What do you like for perch spots? Like mud? Mud flats, yeah. I eat lots of bugs and stuff. So not typically like in the rocks itself, but like right now we're just off the edge of a rock pile on like the mud flat bottom. Oh, he's coming up for you. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's just stupid. Um, oh, no. oh. <laughs> the old pot belly perch there. I don't know if it's focusing on it nicely. Yeah, we're having fun. We are gonna have a feast on the ice. Hopefully we'll leave some fish for Josh. That's what I'm using. A little bit of shade on just a tungsten with a chunk of minnow tail. It's 
It's the eulogy. <laughs> Oh, flag, 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 flag. Oh. I got it. Oh my goodness. We got a flag. Is it turning? Nope. Oh, there's a fish on there for sure. It just tangled. Definitely fish on here. I think I just lost it. Nope, it's still there. Ooh, it's big. Do you want to set the camera down and go get the forceps and the bump board? Yeah. I think it's a burbot. Yeah. That's my prediction. It might be a Laker. Thank you. All right, well, we interrupt our perch smash for the first flag of the day. Ooh, I don't think it's a lake trout. Could be a lake trout though. Could be a burbot. I haven't felt any big runs. The flag actually, things got tangled a bit. Okay, we're at the fluoro. I got 20 pound fluoro here. We'll see what we're dealing with. Oh, what do we got? I'm thinking big burbot. That's my prediction. It could be a Laker. Ooh, it's running like a lake trout now. You never want to just hold that line tight and stop the fish because you're using your hands as the drag, right? So right now I'm just applying some pressure and then it's line management. Now I would say this is a lake trout based on what I'm seeing with this run. So I'm going hand over hand and I'm using my hands as a drag, but I never want to give it that full stop because then you'll something will break. I mean, obviously you kind of go beefy typically on tip up gear, especially when you're doing lake trout or pike, but I'm going hand over hand. If there's wind, you want the wind kind of blowing your line away, but I'm always just picturing if that fish takes off on a run right now, what, are, what am I doing? I think she's hooked pretty good. I think she got hooked quickly, and I think the tip up set the hook because my line got wrapped around the wire on it. What are you thinking? How do you I'm feel? I'm thinking lake trout right now. I think it's a decent sized fish. Yeah, it's not small. Yeah, that's a laker. I didn't see any yet, but when they do those big tearing runs like that, that's the other thing can happen, especially later in the season. If that fish takes a sharp angle, he can cut into the bottom of the ice, and then you need a scoop to pop it out. We are so close to seeing this fish, guys. Oh, that's a big laker. <laughs> yes. This might, I was just pointing out to Brandon, I'm like, oh, right over there is where I caught my biggest lake, lake of the woods. Lake trout. And uh, this might beat that. What's your biggest one? 30? I think it's 35 or 36. I want to say 35 and a half, but it could have been a 36. When you are bait fishing for lake trout, guys, it's just so important to have the proper tools and to treat these fish with respect. There's the bubbles. Wow. It came up so fast, like, oh, maybe it's a bourbon. <laughs> it's like, nope. Oh, that's a oh, fat oh, trip. Oh, oh, oh. oh, wow. You got her. Yes. <sighs> oh, she's hooked perfect. Oh, yes, Jay. And here's the thing. Some people seem to think that just if you're using bait, you're gut hooking, but look right there, hooked in the middle of the mouth. Popped out, that fish is in great shape. We will get the bump board ready. And we're thinking about minimal time out of the water with this fish. Less than 30 seconds out of the water. We'll give you a look and we'll put her back in. Wow, 35, right there, 35 incher. Had her out of the water for about 10 seconds. We're gonna give you a quick look and then we're gonna put this big girl back. Woo, is that okay? Yeah. Sell it good? Yeah. All right. Big mama, that is a beautiful Lake of the Woods lake trout. Was everything good there, Brandon? Yep. Look at her. She's gone. Wow. Let's go. Oh man. You always set tip ups, cause you never know. You go from hammer and perch, go off the ledge. And I mean, yeah, that's darn near one of my biggest Lake of the Woods lakers, 35 incher. I know there are bigger ones, but oh, that was fun. I always like having these long forceps along. These are the frostbite ones. Clip them on my jacket or whatever. Those, we, we had to grab them, but just to get in there for the treble hook and yeah. I mean, that's the thing, fishing with bait. Yes, you, you can gut hook fish from time to time. Anytime you're fishing with bait, that is a potential, but if you set the hook quickly, you got the proper release tools. I mean, that fish is gonna be 100% good to go. What a good surprise. I mean, not completely surprised, but you never really catch uh, a ton of lake trout on Lake of the Woods, but they can be good ones like that. Dude, so good. Man, that was a great fight. There we go. Brandon's on. That looks like a big old perch. The old drag peeler. Oh. Lost him? Yeah. It's the last time I pick up the camera for you. <laughs> Man. Look who it is. <laughs> yeah, How nice he, is it out here? He was driving. It's so. just insane. You see that pop up? Hi. Hi. 
Oh, you are so small. <laughs> wow, this is a small baby. Oh, man. Prairie, one day I might be your father-in-law. Think about that. <laughs> <laughs> Check, check. Are we good? We are good. All right, well, we got the McFads fam here. We kind of stopped filming when they rolled up, but they caught a bunch of perch. We were doing a little photo shoot for uh, the keeper suits for kids. They make awesome, Eskimo makes awesome suits for kids. And then also that shack that we were shooting in a previous video, the Escape 2000, that new one man flip over. It is like a one plus flip over. So we got some good shots of Josh and the kids in there. I think they even fit both of them, Quinn and Nora in there. And now we're adding some oil, we're cooking some perch, and we are testing out, I can say it, right Josh? Yeah, go ahead. We are testing out the gluten-free version of Catch and Cook. It is something that we've gotten so many messages about. When's gluten-free coming? And uh, we're working on it. But we want it to be good. We don't want it just to be, you know, gluten-free and not taste good. It's, it's gotta taste good. So Josh is kind of the food development specialist. Can I talk for two seconds? Oh yeah, so the gluten-free, it's, it's what we're working on right now is the original. So we'll have the original coating that flavor that everybody knows and loves. My hands covered in smuck from perch, but the flavor that everybody loves and the gluten-free folks, you'll be able to try it for the first time, or at least the first time without a severe tummy ache. And <laughs> yeah, exactly. we'll get you all of that amazing OG flavor packed into something that has a rice flour base instead of a gluten flour base with wheat. And yeah, it's gonna be mucho gracias. So we're gonna test out and you're gonna see how it comes Maybe together. Maybe it'll be ready by the time, this video is gonna drop in like October, November. Do you think that's reasonable? We could have it ready by October, November. Yeah, fall. Fall 23 launch. Yes. Something like that. Just in time Winter. for ice fishing season. Yeah, exactly. Always working on new products. We don't want to be just settled on a couple and uh, you know, we want to make a product that everyone can enjoy and we know not everyone can enjoy the original. So we're working on it. We've got tip up soaking, perch chopping and oil sizzling. This is it. This is the golden Jimmy's perch powder made with gluten-free products. So here we go. We've got Nora just battering right now. And we're making sure to get these perch chunks nice and wet. We want them crazy wet with water. They're going into the dry batter so that they cake on that coating really nice. Then they'll sit for a couple minutes to just let that dry ingredient bloom a little bit and turn less of that powdery white. There's a bird. I got distracted. Turn less of that powdery white color and more of that dark orange color as the flower starts to get wet. Once those are ready to rock, we're just gonna toss them in the oil and get them nice and crispy. I deny that. Sweet Dolores. This is it. We're getting crispy. This oil's just looking great, nice and clean. Good neutral tasting canola oil. <laughs> You're just making up things at this point. <laughs> yeah, just saying words. It looks nice and crispy. All right. Just the moment. Should we get it a try? Yeah. It doesn't have a double coat though. So this isn't, this. the crunch hasn't been summoned yet. This is just a single coat. A little piece for the cameraman. Yep. A little piece for the other cameraman who's on camera most of the time. Same flavor, because it's the same ingredients that you love. I wouldn't know the difference. No. Mm -mm. Me neither. Well, you'd know the difference if you didn't get a tummy ache. Bam. It's perfect. Mmm. All right. It's delicious. Well, to be completely honest, we weren't even planning to film a YouTube video today. Brad and I were coming out to scout and then to get ready for this little photo shoot we did with Josh's fam, but we got on a pretty sweet spot thanks to Jaden from Northwest Outfitters. If you're looking to get a guided trip or sleeper shack on the lake, he's the guy to talk to. You've probably seen a couple of videos I've done with him. Good day on the ice with Josh and uh, unfortunately, you know, got that big laker before they showed up. But if this camera turns back on, then the video is not done. It means we got a flag, but otherwise catch and cook gluten-free is coming. It's coming. By the time this video drops, it might be, it might be ready to unleash, but we heard you guys. We know that gluten-free was something you wanted. And anyways, thanks for the support of catch and cook. It's been phenomenal. I think Josh and I are always just shocked, humbled. I don't know by just the support we've received and all the stores it's ended up in and hope you're pumped for the ice fishing season. That's all I got. Catch and cook, baby. Catch and cook. Woo! Woo!